This is Bumper to Bumper TV. General Motors used a full-size pickup truck to bring the latest edition of the Corvette to the Detroit show this year. On the way back to the plant, it could have carried the company's awards for the North American Car and Truck of the Year. As for the Corvette Stingray, this was a chance to literally and figuratively pull the wraps off the Z06 version of the new design and drivetrain. If that isn't fast enough for you, then the CR7 race car version should be more than enough to keep the motor running. And by the way, the company also got a lot of attention on the new three-quarter size Canyon truck, which will have a four, a six, and even a diesel engine in the not too distant future. Cadillac is working with a proven formula and offering an ATS coupe. By appearance and intent, it's a naked attempt to attract drivers who traditionally consider European or Asian luxury coupes. Look for an even bigger platform from the luxury manufacturer. Ford, not to be outdone in the truck segment, literally crashed the party with a redesigned F-150 that has more aluminum than steel parts. This is a unit that tips the scales at 700 pounds or less than its predecessor. If it's successful, a lot of body and fender technicians are going to have to relearn the techniques of working with a different kind of metal. Chrysler has decided it's going to put all of its bets in the midside segment on the reworked 200. The previous version was a little more than a warmed over Sebring. Now the Fiat based approach and a lot more upscale features, there may be a chance for the platform to be a consideration for buyers in the segment. It'll take a little time for the sheet metal to win acceptance. BMW is offering yet another iteration of the 4 Series platform with an M3 sedan and an M4 coupe for drivers who want a serious performance edge from their Beamers. The company also remembered folks who longed for a smaller, more nimble platform and showed off the new 2 Series, which replaces the 1 Series that was a little bit too small for enthusiasts. Singer Kelly Rowland hit a few C notes to mark the arrival of a larger Mercedes C-Class sedan. That, with the use of aluminum, will be 220 pounds lighter than the model it replaces. After several years of concepts and visual teases, Volkswagen is plugging into the world of electric vehicles with a battery-powered version of its bestseller, the Golf. If you still want a gasoline-powered offering, then consider the updated Golf R with all-wheel drive, more power, and a meaner attitude than the vehicle it replaces. Lexus, in trying to reshape its image, is shaking off the cobwebs with the near track-ready RCF. This is a V8 rear-wheel powered vehicle that operates in two cycles. One is the familiar Atkinson mode to get good fuel economy while cruising, and the second is the auto mode that delivers a lot more of the tire burning torque on demand. This isn't your daddy's Lexus. Fuji Heavy Industries Subaru has reworked the WRX STI so that a two and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder power plant kicks out 305 horsepower. And to raise the thrill quotient, there is even a limited pr production launch edition that features a short throw, six speed, all wheel drive gearbox for the serious racers. Honda has done some serious work on the ultra compact fit. There's an improvement in fuel economy along with an upgraded interior. These are features the platform badly needed to be a serious offering in the segment. The upscale member of that family, Acura, is replacing the TL sedan with this, the TLX. It's allegedly a concept that actually replaces two vehicles, the TL sedan and the smaller TSX. But bet money it will be rolling off assembly lines in the not too distant future. And to emphasize the brand's commitment, Acura is planning on putting a performance version onto the racing circuit. While it may not have been intended as a race platform, the new Porsche Targa will be ready to thrill year round. A flathead six cylinder engine made it to a seven speed all wheel drive transmission, and this will be ready to set land speed records under nearly any kind of road conditions. As for the convertible top, no more wrestling with a bulky snap in unit. With modern technology, the roof simply folds away into a space behind the driver. And Hyundai is finally getting around to upgrading the Genesis sedan. While it was sound mechanically, the previous model didn't excite the public. New lines, wheels, and design approach, along with engineering upgrades, could make it a real contender in the large luxury segment. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.